Reef DVM's coming at you with a fun winter project, even though it's technically done in the fall. We're making our winter popcorn supply. Everybody around here does it probably a little different, but uh, on the farms, uh, we don't go and buy popcorn in the stores, so we grow it ourselves. We have a lot of coon activity and a lot of deer activity, so when the popcorn just starts to dry out and starts to turn a little brown, we get our butts out in the field and get it picked before the critters um, get it. So here I am just, just checking the corn and making sure it's ready to go. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Popcorn is just starting to turn. It's just starting to dry out. Uh, literally within days, uh, the coon will start getting in this and so will the deer. And they'll start wreaking havoc on this popcorn. And we don't want that to happen. So when the kernels start getting hard and they're fully grown and developed, boy, this is when we get our butts out there and get it picked. I know a lot of people can leave it on the uh, stalk until it turns um, nice and brown and dry. But again, um, the critters come in and make a mess out of things. So then we uh, shuck it, basically, and head down to our fruit cellar. And you can see there we've got a bare concrete floor on it this time of the fall. And we throw some newspaper down on the floor. And we dry this. Um, so right now it's about uh, the beginning of September. Uh, the, the potatoes and the onions and the pumpkins and the eating squash are all coming in. So now we go back down on the floor there and we throw some newspaper down and from basically September, October, and November, we're going to sit with this popcorn on the floor and just, just let it dry out. Um, again, you can do this in the field, but uh, we choose not to because there's so much um, critter life that will eat our popcorn. As you can see, there's a few strawberry popcorn mixed in there too, those little shorties. So once we get that done, we've got um, basically uh, about Christmas time some task work to do and that's basically turn our girls loose to take it from on the cob to off the cob get my uh, girls involved uh, which is really easy to do um, the corn is pretty loose on the cob uh, you don't need a lot of work or effort to get it off just take a bowl and start you know shucking away and get that popcorn off now, every now and then on the ends there'll be some crap or something on the ends that you may not want or maybe a dried spot or an area where an insect or something damaged it and just don't shuck off those areas. Sometimes the cobs are a little tight. And you kind of got to get an end started with your thumbs or fingers. But the girls do a great job. You know, you get uh, three, four of us together. And, you know, we get done. All, all the cob husks will look like this. And we'll just, you know, break those in half and feed them to the beefers. They love that kind of stuff. And then, of course, you know, this is what the cobs look like as we started. And, again, you can see some of the ends are a little rat torn and stuff. You know, bugs get in them and stuff over the months of the summer as it grows but my girls just pound it out um, one night here we'll make about oh two or three of these you know three four gallon pails of this stuff and we'll jar it up and you know it'll keep in a jar for probably mm, two or three years depending upon how fast we go through it I think right now it's uh, 2016 and we're using up the the 2014 and probably the little bit into the 2015 batches of popcorn that we cook up and this stuff cooks up perfect just Put a little, um, you know, olive oil in a pan on the stove and throw some of this in and shake it around for two, three minutes and you'll have some excellent popcorn, folks. And if you don't want to do it that way, it works fine in an air popper or one of those pan poppers, too, where you put the oil in it and the little stir thing goes around a circle and pops it. This is how we get our popcorn supply for the winter. It's cheap. It's easy to do. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe and like our channel. We'll keep putting out great videos like this.